the spinning wheel of our European fortune. We've been in for 40 years. We voted out nine months ago and March 29 is when we formally notify that we really are leaving. I'm very clear that I want to ensure we get the best possible deal for the United Kingdom that works for everyone across the United Kingdom and all parts of the UK uh, when we enter these negotiations. I've set out my objectives. Those include getting a good free trade deal. Uh, they include putting issues like uh, our continuing working together on issues like security uh, as at the core of what we're doing. A huge project, of course, acknowledged by Europe's most powerful leader, Angela Merkel, who said that negotiating future relations with us was, however, no more important than strengthening links between remaining EU countries to make the EU, in her words, weatherproof. Next Wednesday, a letter from Theresa May will be delivered to the European Council in Brussels saying the UK wishes to quit the EU. Two days later, the President of the European Council, Donald Tusk, will set out broad draft guidelines for the talks. They'll have to be agreed by 27 EU leaders at a summit a month later. Then it'll take another month for EU ministers to agree a more detailed and technical mandate, after which the talks can begin in earnest, led by the UK's Brexit Minister David Davis and the EU's Chief Negotiator Michel Barnier. And if all goes to schedule, and many think it won't, the UK will be out of the EU by the end of March 2019. Today the Prime Minister was on the first leg of a tour of the nations of the UK in the hope we would all row together out of the EU in perfect harmony. But discord seems more likely. The UK government is not interested in the views of the other nations in the UK. Uh, I'll be pursuing that uh, with the, uh, the Prime Minister. She didn't have the courtesy to let the Scottish Government know that she was announcing it today, let alone the content. Now remember, this is a Prime Minister who said that she would seek UK-wide approval and agreement. What we hoped was that the Prime Minister would do as she said and build a national consensus about the way forward. It's in the national interest that we get the best deal. That will only happen if there's consensus. A sombre portrait in April's edition of American Vogue of a Prime Minister whose negotiating skills will decide whether Brexit will be smooth and enriching or bumpy and impoverishing. Don't hold your breath to find out. It'll be months before we're past stultifying bureaucratic fiddling to the decisions that matter.